everyone. Well, Boss and I are on our way out to shoot a new gun. So I finally bought a, uh, a good turkey gun, 12 gauge. Remington 870 Super Mag. So we're gonna go out, shoot a gun. I don't think I've ever shot a 12 gauge before. I mean, I, I know I did way back in the day, in mid 90s or something like that, but I don't remember it, and it certainly wasn't three and a half inch shells, so. This is gonna be interesting, but we're just about at our turn off. And then, uh, yeah, I'll get back to you when we're uh, all set up. Okay, guys, we're here. It's, uh, it's minus 16 Celsius right now. And looks like someone else was here. Uh, there's a bunch of shotgun shells all over the place, so somebody else was shooting. And uh, just getting everything set up here. You can see I've got the GoPro going right now. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get set up here. I'm gonna go stick a couple targets on that stump over there and uh, get my rangefinder out and see how far far away we are. Yep, boss is out now. I'm gonna let him run around before we get too deep into this. You can see there he's got his mutt muffs around his neck. Come here, boss. He's got his smoly vest on. Oh. Boss. He doesn't care. Oh, you see the mutt muffs there? That's the stump we're going to be shooting at. Looks like somebody was, somebody was over here shooting. Oh, God, it's cold on the hand. You can see a bunch of shells all over the ground there. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get set up. Boss is gonna burn off some energy and uh, show you the gun. Okay, get the gun up. Oh, my truck is so dirty. This is brand new. I'm, I haven't shot this yet at all. And my truck's too tall. Or I'm too short. No, dude. So, there it is. Remington 870 Super Mag. Yeah. So with this, uh, with this gun, uh, I bought the other barrel, it hasn't come in yet, but I bought the other barrel that can shoot sabots, so it's a rifled barrel, and uh, it's quite a bit shorter, I think it's only 10 and a half inches compared to this 24, and uh, you can use it as a black powder rifle too once you switch the barrel over, so it's kind of two guns in one, it's pretty cool, it's a nice looking gun. Turkeys, I mean, they got an eye, they can see movement pretty darn good. They're stupid, but man do they have eyes. <clears throat> so, boy, let's get these out of there. Boss got cold, so he's inside. Sitting in the truck there. I'm gonna go grab some targets, do some range finding, see where we're at. So I didn't bring uh, I didn't bring a bunch of targets, so I just brought these just to shoot at, just to kind of see 
how far away the spread is or how far I can get. It does not have a full choke in there, it's just the one that came with it, which I think is a modified. Um, so yeah, like I said, first time owning a shotgun. Haven't shot one in years, so this will take me a bit of learning. <clears throat> you can see here, let's take that off. This wants to come out. See the rope. And you can see there, got her tied to the steering wheel, so. Once he does want to come out, I can just hook him up and he won't be anywhere near me. So, uh, yeah. Let's figure out how far this is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. There we go. I'll show you guys. <clears throat> See that? 21 yards. 20 yards, 21 yards. So, We're perfect. Perfect distance to start trying this. Got to move over here so I'm past boss's rope. I'm going to use this camera to zoom in at the shot and I'm going to try my GoPro to film me. If it was a rifle I'd put a GoPro at the other end but because this is uh, shot and I don't really know what's going to happen I'd rather not shoot my GoPro. Target's up. I'm just gonna load some shells here. Let's go. Holy shit, these are big. these things holy cow these things are huge if we can see that three and a half inch mag okay well I'm gonna give her a shot yard mark so just gonna see what happens to the turkey alright 
tell right now that I need a full choke. There's BBs all over the entire thing, not just the orange turkey circle, but that whole white piece of paper is covered. I'm going to shoot a few more just to have fun, but uh, I've got the wrong choke in here for sure. seeing that spray holy man look at that nonsense it's just all over and that's number four shot Whew. you know the kick isn't uh, the kick isn't terrible it kicks though for sure excuse me Definitely kicks. Okay. Here we go. Let's go a little closer. All right. Well, that was fun. Whew. Well, bought myself a, a new turkey call as well. Boss is out running around right now, so I'm not gonna be shooting. But got myself a new turkey call. So, it's a bit different than the one I had before, so I gotta get used to it. Pretty good. It's just a, a Primos one, pretty cheap one. It's 20 bucks or something like that. So it does a job, right, boss?
be funny if one came in, huh? Not likely in this area. Good boy. Good boy. Well, I, uh, I accomplished what I came to do. Although I don't think it's worth it for me to just keep shooting off shells. I definitely need a choke, a full choke. Uh, I'm just creating, like, the whole sheet was a spray at 20 yards, so, you know, it's it's that big. It's, my intent of this gun was to, to chop the turkey's head off kind of thing, and uh, I clearly don't have the right choke for it. Like I said earlier, it's just a default choke, which is a modified, which came with it. It's uh, not nearly enough. So instead of just blowing shots off, um... I'm gonna go get a new choke and then we'll have to come out and do this again. I'm just letting boss run around. I'm kind of packing my stuff up. And uh, I think we'll go for a little drive. A bunch of skidoos just, just passed us. Had to be 15, 20 of them. I don't know if there's a derby going on right now or not, but uh, there was a lot of skidoos that just went by. So. GoPro still going. 14 minutes. It'll be interesting to see how that works. That's a new uh, new microphone on there. So this is like the first time I've really used it without the waterproof case. So I bought this Sublimeware uh, case for it. Hello. And then I bought the uh, Rode microphone. I've also got a, a pulse and dual mic on there, but I'm trying this one out first. And it's got the wind uh, windsock on it, so and it's windy. Like you can see the see the hairs moving around. So it'll be very interesting to see. It's pointing into the wind now. It'll be very interesting to see how that uh, how that works. So yeah. I'm just letting boss run around here for a bit. And... Man, it's cold. With that wind, I don't know what it is. Like, whatever. I'm gonna look it up when I get back because it's that wind is just biting. I'm even standing behind the truck. The wind's coming right from my back now. So, well, that was fun. I gotta pick up my shells now, I don't like littering. I always pick up my rifle casings too, but that's because I reload. Although I've I've always picked them up. And uh, so I've got six, six shells to pick up and uh, let boss run around some more, clean up some of my stuff and put the truck back in order and take off. And I'm trying out some new gear and on the camera side and trying out my gun. I just bought that last week, su last Sunday, actually. So, eight days ago. It's, uh, I'm not sure I said it's February 19th, shortly afternoon. Hey guys, see you next time.